Okay, on a figure skate with time, sometimes people tend to grind the back down too much. Normally from about here to here should be one radius when it's brand new. Might be eight to nine feet. And then the spin radius may be down in here anywhere from 17 to 24, 27 inches. This of course is a toe pick. And this is a device here by Ice State and Condi Conditioning Company. It just shows the radius of curvature. And you put a flat piece in there to set this to infinity, but I want to show this on here. This is about nine foot radius here on a Matrix Legacy. Go down here a little bit. It's about nine foot. There's nine foot. There's about nine. And when you get toward the tail, it's about eight. Here they have the effective radius of about 30 inches. Now this device is using these three points, so if you've got a radius is constantly changing through here, this is just an approximation. So, But this has been turned down. If this had, was a brand new blade, it's going to read closer to like this, which means this has been aggressively turned down on a uh, sharpening machine. So the last, if I go through here, there's say nine feet about start dropping a little bit more this last say half an inch through here maybe uh, maybe one and a half centimeters or more uh, has gone through here 13 millimeters would be uh, half an inch but the last portion here is tending to be rounded down and that's what typically happens on a used blade there you've got nine foot there's nine foot. There's forty. So right through here, it's starting to change the radius of curvature. It's equivalent to about twenty. Nineteen. Nineteen. So right through here, it's starting to radically change. not supposed to slide this along but you put it on here rock it back and forth look for the minimum so from about here to here the radius is going to the secondary rocker this is called the secondary rocker this is the primary rocker most skates have this to be anywhere from seven to nine feet might be seven foot on a on a beginner skate maybe eight to nine on a higher end skate and then this is the secondary rocker there's some blades that have a third radius through here it's really difficult uh, you'd have to have some to have something where the pins are very close together to measure locally what the radius of curvature is but then um, it's difficult because you'd almost have to have a, a fixture where it's got a finer resolution dial on there so this is just uh, an approximation. With time, when this gets ground down, the toe pick is going to be, if this is the same toe pick, what they call the non-skatable zone, is going to go ahead and change where its position is. So sometimes you have to do a little bit of grinding on this so that it keeps the same point on here. Because with time, you're going to grind this down. If the point's the same, then it's going to go change to where you hit the ice on there but this is typical where this tends to get ground down somebody's got a sharpener through here with the stone and they tend to push too much down in this edge and there's the company that makes this indicator device I've got two different models depending on the type of uh, blade whether it's for figure or hockey several companies that make these you adjust this to be to infinity when you put a flat through here it's the way you calibrate that pro sharp makes a version two um, this will not work with a blade that's like a composition blade like this it has to be long enough to go down in the channel 
that'll work with a blade that's like this that is not a composite blade will fit in that type of indicator profile checker